Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the local storage in your Angular application and save some data. So a typical real world example is an e-commerce website. Okay, and you take any e-commerce website, there's something called shopping cart, right? So if a user is, let's say this website is a shopping cart, a user is trying to add something to the uh, to the cart, uh, you know, without even logging in, right? So which means when they try to come to the same uh, place again, they should be able to uh, see what they have added. That way, it is easy for the the commerce e-commerce website to sell the products uh, sooner, right? Uh, they don't need to again search the product and add it to the cart. So how can we do that? I have already uh, you know given this detailed descriptions in my own blog post. So let's consider an example, very simple example. So we can use something called local storage. Local storage you can use, and we can save something with a uh, key value pair. So when you use a set item with a key and then the value and to retrieve you use a get item Just pass in the key. So with this basic concept we can implement this now Let's take a look at this demo. So I'm going to go to this my list right now There is nothing and you can see some empty bracket coming up here, right? So what I'm doing is the one that you see here is pulled from the database The one that you see here is stored from the local storage and retrieved from the local storage so let's go to home page. I'm going to add something. So I have added one item. And if you go here, this is the added item which is stored in the database and it is retrieved from the database. And this one is actually stored in the local storage. Okay. So for example, let me delete this. If I refresh this, I will still get this value. Okay. Because this data is coming from the local storage. So how can I preview this? I can add another item and then the second item will also be there in the local storage. You see this second item and even if I delete this because that's database operation, anything that you see down is local storage, right? So this way I can actually store whatever I wanted to store in the local storage, a uh, bad minimum thing. If you store it will be nice and this is what we have implemented in the existing Angular application and I'm going to explain you a piece of code uh, which is already built in. So again, this is the website, this you can find it in the GitHub repository. I'll give you all the details in the description. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, build a local storage service. And this local storage service is used because anything that is public here will be uh, used across the application any in any component. You don't need to, uh, you know, have it in multiple places. So what I'm going to do is here, there is something called a cart variable, which is an array of product. And we initialize with an empty string, I mean an empty array. So we have a couple of methods here, okay. In the constructor, we can also check whether the local storage is coming as undefined or not. If it is not undefined, local storage is supported from the browser. In case of browser that doesn't support, which is very, very old browser, these modern browsers will support the local storage, okay. So just for the type safety, right, you can check this and if it is there, then you can implement this logic. Now let's consider with all the modern browsers, you do have this. So we have a couple of methods, add cart. So I pass the product, I push this item to the cart and I serialize this into a string and store it in the cart keyword. So cart is the key and value is the complete product value, which is set here. Okay, so every time that comes, this one is called and you know, you'll be setting the value. Similarly for removing, you can find whichever the product is not there, you can reset the cart. Now clearing cart, you can just empty it remove the key itself which will remove the value also okay and to retrieve the complete cart we just return the cart very simple so where i am implementing this is if you go to the wish list or if you go to the product view people who have already seen this project they know all this coding but basically if you go to product view okay someone is clicking on add a wish item right so that method if you go here we initialize the service in the constructor and then we call add to cart and pass in the item that's it and then once we are done with that um, the item will be added and uh, what we can do is we can retrieve the data okay so now similarly uh, in order to delete let's go to the wish items so there is something called wish list under the products okay so here in this component what we are doing is when we uh, initialize, we call this, we, I mean, we initialize this local service, local storage service, and we call this method, we retrieve the data. 
and this is the data that I'm showing in the end of the page right just to serialize this and show you this is just for demo you can actually replace this if you're using this project you can replace this cart itself instead of calling the real-time API so that also you can do okay this is just an example so we will retrieve it and then whenever they delete they never they try to delete you also call that method and pass the ID which will remove it from the local storage and we refresh the local storage okay so this way it will be in sync so the complete code is available in this repository you can go to this URL github URL and then you can go to this repository and you can retrieve the complete code I hope you enjoyed this video and um, if you are not subscribed to my channel subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video Thanks for watching. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe my channel, like it, share it, comment it, and never forget to click on the bell icon.